Hey, you, watch this video right now. Drop a like on this video for 24 hours of good luck. I mean, I wouldn't risk it. All right, what is going? What's happening? How's everybody doing today? My name is Chuck, and welcome back to a brand new video. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The Games of Summer event here, the, all the Games of Summer events we've had to do, we had to do five different trials here, and you had to score a gold medal in all these things. This was one of the most difficult things to be able to do, and of course, this Marksman Challenge was undoubtedly the most difficult challenge to be able to complete, and you had to get a gold medal on all of them to be able to unlock this this amazing looking free growl variant aka the steel chase this is an incredible looking gun and i don't think very many people are going to have it because you have to get a gold medal on all those and they're pretty difficult. Make sure to let me know in the comment section below, do you guys actually have the Grouse Steel Chase yet or not? Because, I mean, you still have like five days to complete it, but, I mean, I still think they're really tough challenges, so let me know. Before we get any farther into today's video, if you guys could smash 1.5 likes here on this video, that would be incredible. I genuinely really would appreciate that. Hey, uh, Kay, I see you watching the videos right now, but you're not yet subscribed with those notifications turned on. Uh, I don't really know what you're doing. Just subscribe right now. Like, just, you know, do it. So, this is the attachments that the Grouse Steel Chase comes with it comes with the tempest 26.4 archangel the mark foregrip the f tac r89 rubber the uh, ppx hollow 7 slight and the xrk strike light uh three this really isn't a good class setup whatsoever so i'm actually gonna go ahead completely take everything off of this and then we're gonna go ahead and create an amazing class setup for you guys to use on the ground so we're gonna be switching it up here a little bit today i want to go down to the ammunition category and i know because we're gonna be switching out our stock 30 round magazine for something else i mean i just know we're gonna do it so let's actually go ahead and jump right in into this so we have the option you know we have the stock 30 round magazine then we have the 50 round magazine and then we also have the 60 round magazine i mean you basically can do whatever you want and it comes down to a little bit more personal preference for me i've always been a 60 round magazine kind of guy i just happen to really like that and i also got a couple of cool little variants for it so i think i'm gonna go ahead and choose this and this is actually going to be our first attachment just because we really really need to beef up the amount of bullets that's actually in the Grouse magazine i think that's only necessary to do so i mean regardless if you're playing Warzone and or multiplayer. I mean, either or, I think you should definitely run a, you know, a magazine of some sort, basically on every single gun. It's almost like a necessity for basically every gun at this point. Next up, we're gonna jump in here to the barrel category, and we have a variety of different options. We have the ZLR Drifter, the Tempest 24.6 Arc Angel Barrel, the uh, XRK Zen Mark II, the FSS 20.8 Nexus, and then, of course, the FSS 11.8 Squall, which I don't technically have because I haven't done the challenges for it, and honestly, I probably won't ever use it, but that's besides the point so we have a lot of different options here but honestly a lot of these don't really do too much benefit to us i mean the zlr drift there is basically one of those that really isn't going to do any benefit to you just because i mean it's taking away your damage range it's taking away your bullet velocity i mean you don't essentially want to run this almost really ever i mean i i made it like a weird like smg build with the growl in that was basically the only time i've ever used this thing and i'm not really that big of a fan i, I just like having my growl be you know a very strong ar so we're not going to really ever use that there's an awesome tempest 26.4 archangel then there's the Zen, which definitely is one of those things that can help, obviously, with your damage range, bullet velocity, but it also can mess with your um, ADS speed. I don't really ever right, mess with this one. Basically, I end up messing with the FSS 20.8 Nexus or the 26.4 uh, Archangel. And for this build in specific, we're going to go with the 26.4 Archangel, partially because it does actually come with the Steel Chase and it actually looks really, really cool. And I want to kind of keep the Steel Chase looking as steel chase is possible and i really enjoy actually using this barrel whether it be multiplayer or war zone this is basically good for either or so let's go ahead and slap this bad boy in is that's going to be our second attachment here for our growl class next up we're going to actually take a look in here at the muzzle category and that's just because you know we need to throw something on the end of this gun and so obviously we have a variety of options here the flash guard the breacher device tactical suppressor muzzle brake lightweight the compensator and the monolithic i mean basically at no point in time am i ever going to use the flash guard or or am I going to ever use the compensator and or am I really ever going to use the breacher device or the muzzle brake? It basically comes down to me using the tactical, the lightweight or the monolithic. And to be honest, I mean, you're going to stay away from the lightweight, you know, basically nine times out of 10 or almost basically 10 times out of 10, seven days a week, just because you don't want to lose damage range. That's one of the biggest things in this game is not losing damage range. And if you want to be as effective as you possibly can be, you're going to have to either choose the tactical or the monolithic suppressor. And I will say that if you don't have the monolithic, 
Bullet Suppressor unlocked, then you should go ahead and use the Tactical Suppressor as this is a much earlier level unlock and it does not decrease your damage range. Of course, you have an ADS speed penalty and an aim walking steadiness penalty, but really that doesn't, you know, that's really not, you know, noticeable. Honestly, it just really isn't that noticeable. But for me, because I have everything unlocked, my grass and max level, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Monolithic Suppressor. This is basically what I run on every single one of my guns all the time seven days a week 10 times out of 10 you know 24 hours a day i mean this just, this attachment does not come off my guns unless i really just feeling kind of wild and i just want to you know really mess around and not use a suppressor whatsoever otherwise i'm going to be running the monolithic so that's going to be our attachment number three here for our grow now we're going to be taking a look at the under barrel section of this so we have a variety of different options i always say that more or less the m203 is a 12 gauge deputy i mean you're going to want to avoid all these and this actually isn't has a specialized grip for the growl which is the cronin shark 2 and i mean i really don't ever use the cronin shark i don't really find it to be that inherently good it can inhibit your you know your movement speed a little bit but it does help greatly with your control a little bit the range a little bit the accuracy but i just generally speaking never end up using this so it's still definitely beneficial uh, but i mean it's i think it gets outclassed by a few other different grips here uh, within the category and so we have obviously the ranger which we're not going to be using here within this one and obviously the operator we basically stay away from using the operator on every single gun just because the operator is not nearly as good of a grip as basically the ranger the merc or the commando so now we have the option like i said we're not going to use the ranger and we have the merc four grip which actually came with the steel chase but the 100 that's like unfortunate thing about this is that this really does impair your ads speed and your aim walking movement speed and because we already have such a long barrel on our growl it's like i don't really need to slow myself down with mobility any more than you know that I already do so I'm basically going to forego using the steel chase version of the Merc foregrip and we're going to go all the way up to the top basically the first attachment you get and use the commando foregrip this is really good in a recoil stabilization aiming stability just a tad bit of a penalty for your mobility but otherwise it helps your accuracy your range and your control basically all things that we really want out of our growl so that's going to be our attachment number four here on our growl class setup using the steel chase growl so now we're going to go ahead and jump in here to the stock category and just that that's because you know we have all these other very good complementary attachments that do help out with our control and basically getting our shots down range but we need just a tad bit more mobility out of this gun because we have such a big barrel so we have three different options here in the stock category we have the fss blackjack we have the xrk strike light 3 which is actually the steel chase version of um a stock which actually looks super cool and i actually i genuinely really like this but because it's only giving us aim walking movement speed we unfortunately aren't going to use the xrk strike light 3 because i want more mobility and this really isn't giving me more mobility it's just helping with basically giving me a little bit more speed when i'm aiming down sights to you know move around and i feel like i already have enough of that so i don't necessarily need that what we're actually going to go ahead and do is go down here to the no stock attachment and that is going to be attachment number five here for our growl just because i mean the no stock attachment gives us our movement speed gives us our ads speed but unfortunately it decreases your aiming stability recoil control so it's going to kind of negatively affect a couple of different things but because we have so much control and stuff already i mean getting that ads speed and that movement speed it far outweighs the penalties that you actually do incur when using the no stock attachment and trust me when i say this this is an absolute banger of a setup you guys are really gonna love this so we're gonna go ahead and put this thing on here this is at my full setup here with the growl the steel chase i mean this is a pretty i would say rare variant because i don't think many people are going to be able to get this but uh, with that being said it's time to definitely go showcase this thing off in game and show you really how good the graph 5.56 can be with this setup oh what do you think you're doing Are you trying me like that got a little shoot house tdm actually i haven't played shoot house tdm in like a hot minute well i've, played, I've been playing some shoot house obviously got shoot the ship here 24 7 uh for like the next like month which is definitely good and uh man i think this is gonna be a good game but I, oh there's definitely somebody wow they're, they're taking out my teammates left and right over here there we go another one down oh he's got the rytec amr that's actually that's a bit interesting i wasn't expecting somebody to use the the rytec oh found one two oh he was trying to like quick scope my teammate yo oh how many of these guys are running snipers in this lobby is he a car 98 oh yeah they're definitely gonna have to whip out something else because my growl and oh my teammate meleeing is gonna be showing no mercy 
Does he have a thermal or something? What was he just spraying through? On what? What on God's green earth was that? How did he even know I was right there? Or at least we got that guy. We got we got somebody that's like minor aimbotting or something. Like that was actually kind of ridiculous. Got him. Oh, there's somebody else. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and call this in. Oh, we just beamed him out that window. That was good stuff. Oh, got you here mid map. All right, anybody else? Anybody else? What's nice is being able to run this no-stock attachment definitely makes this more of a viable option to run on, like, a a, a closer quarters map, you know, like a shoot house, as opposed to before where, you know, you'd never want to run that. All right. Oh, wait, there was still somebody else back here? Oh, God. Yo, wh what are these? What are these spawns here in TDM right now, man? These things are a little bit cracked. I think we got somebody. Oh no, he's he's trying to camp up here. But he was going a little bit, a little bit crazy. That that guy that's got the uh, that's got some of these real fast firing guns. He's been acting a little sus. Not gonna lie. I feel like I'm just calling that him on myself. I'm just gonna take myself out. Wait. How did you even make it over here? And he just spawned out over there. Yep. Oh, I, I definitely shouldn't have got that. All right, let's go refill some ammo. Call this bad boy in. And uh, here we go, boys. Let's see what we can possibly do. Oh, there, yep. Spawns here on TDM are definitely a little bit wonky, but completely okay with that. They always seem to spawn out on this side over here. As soon as you rush into that one spawn point, I'm like looking more almost at the radar than I should. Yo. Oh, they're all gonna be up inside there. Can we hit him with that? Wait. Got you. Oh, thank God he had a sniper. All right, good stuff, teammates. I need some ammo ASAP. Nobody running. Nobody running some five five six. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, no, I died. What type of streak was I on? There's somebody else right there. Wait, what is this guy doing behind our turret? On oh, God, what is he doing? Hey, bro, what are you doing over here? Oh, no, don't try me with that. No use. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, get that grenade away from me. No shot. Teammate, that is, that is definitely our sentry gun. There we go. Another one. I see you. Let's call this in. Oh, oh, and he's AFK. Thank the Lord. This is this has been a real, real weird lobby, bro. I don't know whether to thank my teammate or dislike my teammate. Is he just either like stole that from me or what? All right, I'm bound to take myself out with one of these. I just got sniped. Got you. I only just got a little bit lucky that my VTOL was trying to shoot over here. Otherwise, I would have had no idea where these guys were. Oh, wait. We had another kid running around with a, a riot shield? Yeah, what is going on with these riot shield and, like, sticks kids here recently, bro? They've been, they've been just going, like, crazy in my lobbies. They, they, must be, they must be watching, like, some TKO videos or something, bro. Good lord. Knife only? That's some of these kids' specialty. Wait. Peek that, peek that. Teammate, I was about to say, don't get me killed. Don't do it to me. All right. Call that in over there. Hopefully someone spawns out maybe over here. Oh, he's running there. He's running like the speed of light. Oh, thanks, teammates. Appreciate that one. Hey, yo. <laughs> you, and your, you and your shield. You and your shield, bro. Going kind of crazy with it. And you spawn. Wait. Oh, I over out here mid. Yeah, this thing's got like zero recoil. Let's see if I can mount up and get a kill here real quick. No, probably not. We actually almost got, almost got a nice little uh, little dub off this. All right. A couple guys back here. Oh, teammate's quick scoping. Sorry, teammate. I'm taking that. No shot. I'm letting you get it. 
sorry teammate once again yeah I'm going for a gameplay dog I need to get I need to get those kills all right I think somebody's back over here by our sentry gun oh, he's doing something he's going kind of crazy what is he even going on hey -o. what's up dude and you spawned out literally like right next to us over here Oh, there we go. And I just got a nice little VTOL. How many kills did we just drop? 78 kills? Oh my god, I didn't believe I was actually dropping that many. 78 out of 150? That, that's incredible. Wow. Well, that's all I got for you guys here within today's video. Thank you so, so much for coming through. If you guys happen to have enjoyed it, slap a like on it. Subscribe to those notifications turn on. Make sure you guys comment down in the comment section below. And also go check out any of these other videos here up on screen. I would greatly appreciate it. I put a lot of time and effort into them. And so it'd be awesome if you could go check them out. But with that being said, I'll see you guys back here again tomorrow with the end of the brand new video. Just so much we have. Don't be Randy. And I'm out. Peace.